In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a whiteboard animation video with Render Forest. Render Forest is a platform that has a lot of design tools that are going to help you create videos, website, logos, mockups, or design. As you can see here on the video sections, they have tools for you to create animations, intro, video editing. They also have a lot of tools for your website building, for your logo creation, for your mockup editing, and also for your graphic design. Today, I'm going to focus on showing you a tutorial on how to create a whiteboard animation. If you scroll down on their website, you can see that there is a lot of templates that you can use. But today, these website animation toolkit are going to be the one that we're going to use. To start creating our video, we can go ahead and click on the video menu on the top side of our screen. And you're going to see there is an animation options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to scroll down and search on the whiteboard animation toolkit. Once you've clicked the whiteboard animation toolkit, render forests are going to take you to another sections of template selection. So to create your video, you can either choose from one of these templates or you can also create your video from scratch. And to do that, you see that there is a start from scratch options on the left side of your screen. So you can go ahead and click that and then you will see that there is a lot of pre-made videos such as these videos over here. And also you can choose the character that you would like to put inside of your video by choosing from the left side of your screen. Beside pre-made character, there are also selections of pre-made background video that you can use. When you choose to create your video from scratch, you can choose multiple scenes or multiple pre-made video at once and it's going to be automatically inserted to your video. Now that you know how to create your video from scratch, I'm going to show you how you can create your video by typing on your storyline. To create your video from Storyline, you can go ahead and click these Type Your Story button that are right beside the Start From Scratch and then you're going to want to type out your video script. Once the pop-up text box appears, you're going to see that there is an instruction on how you should write out your script. They say that you have to use period after each sentence or use new line. Video loves short sentences. Try to be short if you want to show check marks in video. Use symbol in each new line. Use those symbol in each new line. All right, I have inserted my script off screen and you need to also pay attention on the limit of character. As you can see on the bottom right of your text box, you can see the limit of character in each video. After you're satisfied with your script, you can go ahead and click generate project. And once you do that, you can see that there are numbers appearing on each side of our sentences. And what it means is that those are the amount of scenes that RenderForest has created for each of the sentences. You'll be able to see those scenes when you click Generate Project and you're already on the video editing section. As you can see, Render Forest have created multiple frames for me along with the text that I have already. When I write my script, I intended my character to be a woman, but as you can see on the first frame, Render Forest gives me a male character instead. But it's totally fine since all of these scenes or all of these frames are totally customizable. So to change the scene that I don't like or I feel are not suitable, I can go ahead and click on these matching scene sections and then I can just scroll around to see which frames that I would like the available one to be changed with. To choose the frame, I can just go ahead and click on it and then it's going to automatically replace the one that are available. Besides changing and replacing the scene's character or frames, you can also change the wording that are written on each video. So the generator already inserted the sentence according to the divider that you have put on the text box before. As for this one, it only says like, this is Julie, and let's say that I want to add some more wordings. I can just go ahead and click on the text box and then I can type on from that. 
And every changes that you made are going to be saved automatically by Render Forest. So after you create some changing, you can just go ahead and carry on with your video editing. To change your font size, you can go ahead and click on the sizing menu under the text box. As you can see, there is a percentage that shows the size of your text. So you can go ahead and slide on the bar that are going to appear if you click on the percentage under the text box. You can also adjust the text positions if you don't like your text to be on the position that Render Forest already put. You can choose from the text position options whether you want your text to be on the right or on the left. You can repeat these steps on every scene in case you want to change the wording. You can also duplicate your frames if you need to by clicking on the three little dots on the top right of each frame and then you can just click duplicate. And to delete unnecessary scene, you can go ahead and click on these trash can symbols and it's going to delete your frames automatically. To change the duration of each frame, you can go ahead and click on the number beside the scene durations text that are written on top of your screen. And then you can slide around the bar to set the duration that you want it. The minimum of the duration is 7 seconds, meanwhile the maximum are 60 seconds. There are a limit duration for a video if you are using the free account. So to avoid that, I'm going to try and set every one of my scene on the on 7 second, which is the minimum duration. And to add more frame, you can go ahead and click on the big plus sign besides your very last frame. And then Render Forest are going to give you another selection of templates of frame or background that you can use just like you see on the very first time before you created your video. And to add the new frame to your video, you can just click it. And then of course, because this is a new frame, you don't have wordings on it since it's not included on the video script that you already put first. So you will have to insert new wordings on that new frame. Besides inserting pre-made video backgrounds or also Besides using the pre-made character and also background, you can also insert videos. To do that, you can go ahead and click on the Add New Frame button and then you can choose the video menu and you will see that there are selections of video frame that has green screen on it and that green screen indicates where your video will be placed on. As for the video that you can put, you can either upload it and once you upload it, it's going to be inserted inside of my file section or you can input video URL, let's say you want to insert your video from YouTube or you can choose the stock footage that Render Forest already have. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and click the one from the stock footage. They also have a lot of stock footage that you can use and you can click on one of the video to see the preview. If you don't find anything suitable for your video, you can just go ahead and type it on the searching bar in case you have a specific video in mind. Even though there are selections of video, I think the stock footage also have limitation. So you will need to be patient when you're trying to search for your video. Once you found the stock footage video that you would like to choose, you also have the options to edit it. And you can try to use the video with a full length duration, or you can slide on this blue bar down here to adjust the duration. Today I'm just going to trim on my video so that instead of 10 seconds, I want my video to be in just around 5 seconds. And once you've set on the duration, you can go ahead and click on the done button below. And as you can see, your video is now inside of your frame and it's following the green screen that you'll see before this video appear. And after that, you can always add some text if you want it. Once you're satisfied with your video, you can go ahead and go to the next step, which is to choose the style of your video. They have two types of style that you can choose. You can choose whether your animation will be bought, drawn or cut paper. And if you'd like to change the font, you will have to upgrade your account to premium account. And here are the, 
the prices for premium account you can choose to pay it monthly or yearly and here are the benefits that you're going to get if you subscribe to their premium account i think they also have several other plans which you can see if you go to their website the next thing that you can change for your video is the colors so as you can see my video came with blue colors for each of the frame and to change that i can just go ahead and click on the color sections and then click on the solid blue box because that is my primary color and to change it i can just slide around this color bar and then i can also click on the bigger color bar on top of it to choose the color that i wanted once i found the color that i desired i'm going to go ahead and click on the generate button once we're done with the color, now we can go ahead and choose the background music for our video. As you can see, Render Forest offers you a lot of free music. They also have categories so that in case you have a specific categories of music in your mind, you can just go ahead and choose from the left side menu of your screen. Or if you want to add your own video, you can go ahead and click on the add voiceover button on top of the selections of music. And if you scroll down on the music menu, you can see that you can also create a text-to-speech or you can upload your own video, but for the text-to-speech, you will have to upgrade your account to your premium account. Once you're satisfied with your music, you can now choose to see the preview of your video. If you want your video to have HD 1080 quality, you will have to upgrade your account. So for free account, you can only see fast preview and you also can't export your video. And here is the result. And that is how you can create your own whiteboard animation with Render Forest. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.